Hi everybody, this is Kat Lubker with the Instructional Tech Team and I'm here today to give you a little quick start jump into how to use Gmail. So right now, if you're watching this video, you're probably using Outlook. What you need to know is currently all you have one email address. Within that one email address right now, it is being sent to your Outlook account, which you're currently still using. It is also being sent to your Gmail account. It's the exact same email, but it's being sent to two different locations. Um, what's going to end up happening is eventually we're going to be shutting down Outlook. All of your old emails will stay in there. They will not go away. It will be there kind of like a filing cabinet for you. What will be different is the new emails that come in now will only be sent to Gmail. Because one email comes in and gets sent to two different locations and two different platforms, we've had a few issues with like students and teacher communication back and forth and emails not being sent. Once everyone moves over to Gmail, that won't be an issue anymore. Um, things that you should know when you go into Gmail is first, yours probably doesn't look very much like this. Yours probably looks a little bit more like this, which is just cluttered with a million emails. What we encourage you guys to do when you do this is to make a clean break. The day that you start using Gmail, just go cold turkey. So your first day, what you'll do is you'll come over here, you'll click the select box, and you'll select everything that is in your Gmail account. From there, you can come up to this top, and you're probably gonna have a few thousand emails, especially if it's the first time you've gone into it. So you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna select all 1,000 something, 5,000 something emails. It's gonna choose every single email, and then you're gonna hit the trash button. This is okay because everything, remember, is still in Outlook at this time. So we just want to make our lives easier for the first time we use it. It's not very often we get to hit the reset button and we get to do that when we switch to Gmail. So click the delete or the trash button, which I'm not going to do because it's my personal one. But then your account will look more like this, except you won't have a single email. Um, you get to kind of start fresh here. New emails will be sent. Do not, when you make this switch, Try checking emails in Outlook and in Gmail. It becomes very difficult, very confusing. All of your old stuff starting from the point that you jump over is going to stay in Outlook. It will be there for you. Everything new you wanna start checking in Gmail. We have other videos available for you um, on our YouTube channel. So if you wanna now make your Gmail here look more like Outlook, where you get this view, where you have all of your emails on the left-hand side, and then you get a preview pane over here on the right. That's a possibility. You'll see that I have options here that I've kind of sorted, email automatically sorts for me. Those are options. We have videos on our YouTube channel that show you how to do all of those things, but this was just a quick start jump to help remind you that we need to switch to Gmail because that extra money is gonna allow us um, to buy more devices for students so we can go one-to-one. -one. Um, you want to make a clean break so that whenever you decide to switch, just check in Gmail from here on out. And then if you need to bring anything new in with you from old stuff from Outlook, or if you wanna change the look of it, we have other videos available for you on our YouTube channel. So hopefully that's everything you need and we'll see you guys later.